Love it or hate it, baseball is one of the most difficult sports in the world. Swing and a miss. One must possess the reflexes of a cat, the focus of a monk, and the cunning of a fox in order to truly excel at the highest level. The game has been around for over 150 years and has a long and steroid, I mean storied, past. Yes, sometimes even the most talented and dedicated players need a little extra help in order to get that competitive edge. Technology improves, rules get changed, but one thing will always remain the greatest key to success. Cheating. From the spitballers of the 20s to the steroid-loaded chads of the 90s, the history of baseball is full of examples of players who were willing to bend the rules for a spot in the record books. And that is precisely what I intend to do today. By creating a team of 99 overall players, cranking the difficulty sliders to 11, and exploiting every single game mechanic at my disposal, I will create the most dominant team the world has ever seen. Grab your popcorn and some PEDs and let's get this thing started. The plan is to play a full season with a 99 overall team and see just how dominant they are. The first step in this journey is pretty straightforward. Pick a team. I picked the Phillies because, well, they're my favorite team. And before you run to the comments to talk shit, just make sure you hit that subscribe button first. Then you can say all the Phillies slander you want. Thanks. After picking a team, I had to raise every stat of every player to 99 overall. Seems easy enough, until I realized I have to do it not only for my entire MLB roster, but the AAA roster as well. I did a dry run of this before, and for some reason some AAA guys kept getting called up and tainting the waters of my talent pool, so we can't have that. About 400 hours later, I've got a roster full of Marvel superheroes. I'm not going to personally play every game of the season because this video would take about a year to make, but I will play this first game because it's against the Astros. How ironic. I also want to see just how many runs we can score with a user-controlled team. Now, maxed out stats is one thing, but the real game changer is the difficulty sliders. If you watched my video about winning MVP with a zero overall player, you know just how effective these bad boys are. Power, contact, running speed. Just about every game mechanic can be fine-tuned to make a complete mockery of America's favorite pastime. So that's exactly what I did here. This crowd is about to witness the most lopsided game in MLB history. At first, I have a little bit of trouble because the pitches are coming in too slow, but I quickly get used to it and get some hits. Two innings in, and Nola has six consecutive strikeouts, and it's no secret why. Look at his fastball and his changeup side by side. Absolutely disgusting. In the third inning, the tomfoolery really kicked off. I'll just leave you with a little montage, and we'll catch up on the other side. We built up a nice cushion with a 48-run third inning. Now I'm questioning how I only scored 5-2 and two in the first and second inning, but whatever. We're up 55 to nothing. Not a bad start. At this point I was actually getting pretty bored, because that inning took about 45 minutes, and I really wanted to just sim the rest of the game, but then I remembered I was playing against the Astros, so I pressed on tirelessly. After 9 innings of play, this is the Phillies' final swing, and we end up with 124 runs on the board. But the game isn't over. Nola has a chance to close out a perfect game and tie the single-game strikeout record as he goes into the bottom of the ninth with 18 strikeouts. And to the surprise of no one, he did it. A perfect game. Final score, Phillies 124, Astros 0. Feels good. Here are some notable stats from the game. Harper with 12 home runs in the first game of the season. Not bad. Now that game took about two hours to play, so I will not be doing that anymore. It's time to sim the season and see just how high we can fly. At the All-Star break, our team is a ridiculous 90-7, and with our only losses coming to the Rockies, the Mets, the Padres, the Dodgers, two out of three games somehow, the Braves, and the Marlins. 65 games to go. Leave a comment below with your guess of what our final record will be. Right now, we're 36 games ahead of second place in our division, and we're leading the league in all-star voting at every single position. Except shortstop? Bryson Stott. Get it together. I simmed to the end of the regular season, and our final record is...
150 wins and 12 losses. Gene Segura wins the MVP, batting 339 with 67 homers, and Ranger Suarez wins the Cy Young Award with a ridiculous 29-0 record. If you ask me though, it looks like Nola should have won it. 26-1, 2.03 ERA, and 310 strikeouts. Absolutely nuts. But now it's time for the postseason. Our first matchup is against the Braves who beat us multiple times in the regular season. But we managed to beat them in four and move on to the NLCS against the Dodgers, who also beat us multiple times in the regular season. Go figure. But in the end, our steroid use turned out to be too much for them to handle, and we won in four again and moved on to the World Series against the Mariners. We went up 3-0 with no problem, and I decided to hop into the final game of the season to bask in the glory of a world championship ridden with asterisks. I wanted to play the first inning myself to build up a little lead and then sim to the end. Quick PSA while I'm treating the Mariners like a little league team. One of the most important and difficult parts of making a good YouTube video is coming up with a good idea in the first place. If you guys have any ideas you'd like to share with me, follow me on Twitter at JaredActleYT or join my Discord, link in the description. The quicker I can come up with a good idea, the quicker I can put out content for you all. All right. Back to the game. I may have got a little carried away, but I think I gave us a pretty solid chance at securing the win. I simmed the rest of the game, and there you have it. The greatest season in the history of baseball. And all it took was the most egregious case of cheating the sports world has ever seen. If you want to see the exact opposite of a great performance, then watch this video, where I put my catcher on the mound and tried to win a game. Thanks for watching.